Guys, the Pacific Theater has finally arrived. Today is the start of the highly anticipated chapter and brings us two new maps, Pacific Storm and the classic Battle of Iwo Jima. Both locations arrived with two new factions and there are a ton of new vehicles, planes and reinforcements but today we're going to have a look at one of the new battle pickups. I'm referring to the Katana and it can be found at several locations and I'm going to show you where they all are but first there are a few things you need to know. The Katana is a one hit melee weapon regardless of which body part you strike. Whether it be the arms or legs, your opponent won't survive and this can all be done without needing to go through a lengthy animation. As a result, the minimal downtime between strikes makes the katana extremely viable when faced with multiple opponents, especially so if you manage to secure a successful flank. However, in order to master the katana, you've got to do more than just find a flanking position and spam the trigger. Unlike previous swords seen throughout the Battlefield series, this time around you've got more than a single command. Now there are two distinct melee moves. The traditional overhand and underhand swipes have been reassigned to left bumper or right mouse button if you're on PC. This will grant you a bit more range at the cost of mobility. As you can tell, there's a slight pause at the end of each strike that can possibly leave you quite exposed, but it's really useful for taking out players that are more than an arm's length away. The second melee move, which is assigned to the right bumper or left mouse button, is much faster and can be done while sprinting. There seems to be a clear speed advantage to be had and grants you the option of more strikes per minute. Perfect for engaging enemies in really close quarters and keeps you on the move while doing so. So you've got to be tactical when wielding the katana and perform the right moves at the right time, otherwise you may end up overextending and leaving yourself open to attacks. The most important attribute gained when wielding the katana is health regen, and I don't mean the classic health regen from Battlefield 1. After each kill, your health will almost instantly regen up to 100. There's no delay whatsoever and takes no more than a second or two. So with the right timing or the right enemies, you can go on an absolute tear. However, health regen comes at the cost of armor. You've got as much health as any other person would do and I'm guessing that's how they've decided to balance it to prevent it from being too overpowered. As a result, you're not as robust or durable as the Battlefield 1 elites were and therefore I would highly recommend playing as a medic to benefit from unlimited health packs. By doing so, you'll be able to stay alive for a bit longer and buy yourself some time for the right moments. Also, don't forget to use smoke grenades to hide yourself and travel safely through open areas. Speaking of smoke, the katana replaces your second gadget slot and that means you won't be able to carry the smoke grenade launcher. That's very unfortunate and probably rightfully so, but I did find out that you can swap the katana with a flamethrower or back to your original gadget if you want to. Plus, you won't lose the katana if you manage to get revived, so try and stay near a medic to extend your samurai adventure as much as possible. If not, it will instantly respawn within a minute or so. Right then, now that you know the ins and outs of the katana, you're probably wondering where you can find one. So let's start off with Iwo Jima on Breakthrough. There's one on the beaches near the resupply stations, but you've got to secure the first sector before they spawn in. The pickup box on the left is the katana, and if you're feeling brave, the M2 Sherman flamethrower is on the right. The next pickup is located on the B flag. There's one on the A flag in the second sector. There's one near the crashed plane. The next one is just outside the cave and the flamethrower is not too far away either. There's one located inside the upper caves and tunnels. And lastly you can find a pickup on Mount Suribachi. Moving on to Pacific Storm, when attacking, the first pickup is located at your base on the eastern ship. 
There's one on the first island right here. The next one is inside the left bunker near the big stationary cannons. There's a pickup inside this tent near the radio tower. And the final pickup is on the last sector near the coastline. I believe those are all the pickup locations you can find on both of the maps but do not worry if you struggle to locate the pickups or get lost. Pull out your repair tool and look out for this icon on your mini map. This will show you where the available pickups are and if there's one available it will show up on your HUD without the repair tool being equipped. Also keep in mind that these pickup stations can be destroyed and rebuilt and that's possibly all you need to know. But do let me know what you guys think of the new katana. Do you think it's OP or is it fairly balanced? I'm unsure at the moment as I've only had a handful of games but one thing that's for sure is that it's extremely fun to use and irresistible. Possibly the best addition to Battlefield 5 yet and I hope guys can keep up this type of quality content for the foreseeable future. If this guide has helped you leave a like, if not leave a dislike or let me know why and I'll see you later. Take care.